Shreveport Little Theater, another new play this weekend. Let's see, it starts tomorrow night and su- uh, let me try this again. Try it. Tomorrow night and Saturday night at 7. Sunday 730. After- 730. 7.30. 7.30, duh. And after I told you when it was, right? Mm-hmm. And Sunday afternoon at 2, it's called Becky's New Car. The director is John Daniel. The star is Sherry Kerr. Jennifer Casello. You're Butterman. the star. You're here. Jennifer's not <laughs> listening. She's never going to know. Uh, well, thank you so much, but the uh, not Emmy the star. The Emmy Award winning uh, uh, <laughs> Sherry Kerr is here. Uh, so so I, I would assume from the title, Becky's New Car. I'm just reading between the lines here. It's not a tragedy. It sounds kind of like an upbeat kind of comedy to sounds me. It's fun. Yes. Have I nailed that? Yes. It's a, um, it's, it's a romantic comedy is what I, I describe it as. So tell me about it. Who, who wrote it? What's it about? Uh, without uh, giving any spoiler um, alert here. Okay. Well, the play was written by Stephen Dates. It's uh, about four or five years old. Um, and um, it basically it centers on a woman named Becky Foster. And Becky is kind of stuck in the throes of middle age she's uh she's got a job she's not necessarily happy with and um stuck in you know marriage it's kind of middling and um she basically you know we uh she kind of wants a a new car a new house and a new life i was gonna say sounds like (laughs) metaphor here Mm -hmm. yes and uh one day at her uh, car dealership where she works a millionaire literally walks in off the street and he offers her the chance to kind of walk away from it all and the play is about whether or not becky will take that shot and can she have her cake and eat it too can she lead two lives Mm -hmm. can she you know risk it all can you know can you really run away from your life now miss sherry tell us about your part and and a little about yourself because you have a most interesting background, especially <laughs> professionally speaking. We okay. won't get into the personal the, part at all. Okay, the play first. Um, really, there's something in the play for everyone because all of the characters are going through some transition, some sort of life crisis and big turnaround. Um, you know. Uh, Who do every, you play? Every, what do you play? I play Ginger, and I play a friend of this millionaire's, and I have lost everything. I mean, my family's been pampered for generations, but we lost everything. And he's so, not helping you? Uh, no, no, no. Um, he's not helping me. Mm. I am sort of uh, trying to make it a, a, another way, which mm. I won't share here. You just have to come see the play <laughs> to see how I figure it out. But um, really, all the characters are, are a lot of fun. Um, You've worked and, in London, you had said. I had read your bio, Los Angeles and New York. What was it about this play? What was it about working with these people that attracted you to come back? Because I know you guys know Blaine Weaver, and there there are any number of Shreveport actors who live in New York or Los Angeles who, when the opportunity arises, and this is a point I make repeatedly, this is such a hotbed, especially the last few years for local theater, that it, we get all these people from both coasts who are leaping at the chance to come back here and work. It really is the quality of talent here. I know when I first uh, came back and I on one of my first trips back here years ago, I saw a play and I was just amazed at the talent, you know, mm-hmm. and I had gone to a lot of plays and in different cities and I just thought Shreveport was great. But that, that acting is not my main job. I, I really, uh, my uh, main interest i guess you'd say is using drama as a learning method and that's what i do Aaron and does I, that too i yeah. teach yeah. it yeah. in china <laughs> you teach Thank it you, in John. china I teach it in china yeah so you're living in china right well, now well i'm living here and i go there when you're needed okay yeah wow yeah, a couple of times a year three well, or four. can i show up to the box office and get in or i really need to get the tickets ahead um, of time box office is open from noon to four today and i i think they're open on saturday too from noon to four so okay. uh but you can also order on com. i would advise that or the box office as quickly as you can we are selling out fast because we've only got three performances and once we've done a couple of these you know news interviews around town people Things are getting word it, and word spreads we're gonna sell out fast you and i have to add if you sit up close you might end up being in the oh play. yes i would sit and try to get tickets in the front <laughs> row and you may end up in the play it's we have interactive. an interactive element to you're the you're not play. gonna throw food on me and this stuff is not, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is not gallagher we've already been asked about that a couple of times let no. me try this again okay it's becky's new car Shreveport Little Theater tomorrow night and Saturday nights at 7.30. Yes. Sunday afternoon matinee performance at two tickets online at ShreveportLittleTheater.com.